Hello and welcome to, well, pretty much the end of the world as I'm playing some more GTA 5 mods. I've got a fantastic combination. This is definitely my favourite combination of the uh, sort of apocalypse mods. As you can see, well, the city is in total blackout. A massive storm has wiped out the power. Most of the lights are out, like flashlights on guns still work, car headlights still work, but uh, it is incredibly dark. Everybody is rioting. There's a fire next door. That's not particularly good. Uh, yeah. And I am going to simply try and get out of the city. My, my goal is to get to the airport, get a plane and leave the city. Other mods that we have installed, we have got the, uh, we've got a, I think it's called Rip, Rip, Ripler's Realism mod for the guns which means that uh, they, they handle a lot different, a lot better. Uh, there's more recoil, faster fire rates and so on, everything's just tweaked. It makes it a lot more fun. It's a much more fun gunplay with these. You can't just sort of spam a whole clip into somebody's head region. You have to actually really deal with recoil and so on. Um, other stuff, insane AIs. So the AI drivers are going berserk, making cars quite difficult to get hold of. Uh, you're not going to stop something on the road, especially with us lot shooting as well. Explosions and chaos uh, are on the streets of Los Santos. Vehicle damage is there as well, so... If we do get in a crash, cars are going to break quite a lot, and of course, the uh, the riot that is happening all around us. Uh, we've got to leave this area first things first. Um, this is quite a slight, nice safe area. Oh, okay, it's not quite a nice safe area. Sort guy has found his way uh, to us. Somebody has exploded stuff around us as well. Whoa, they just spray. <laughs> I, I love the way, like, this blackout mod, just, it completely... Oh, I can't believe that worked. I'm so glad that that did work. It completely changes the feel of it. It's so fantastic for like apocalypse style style stuff. We've made a small fire with Franklin's uh, patio furniture. Maybe we should leave. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should leave the uh, leave the area. Uh, oh crap! More explosions are going on around us. Oh, we don't really want to go. I don't even know how to get out. There's there's the way out. Right, we need to find a car first and foremost. We need a motor vehicle. Um, we're going to have issues stopping something on the street. As uh, well, let's face it, nobody's going to want to stop with this riot going on. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Now, occasionally, oh, hello, SWAT guy. Don't mind me. Let me get rid of you. Uh, see, the recoil is so. Oh, fire trucks came blazing down here. Recoil is a lot more of a thing you have to deal with. Certainly with the, the higher powered weaponry. I'm going to put you down just because I don't trust you're not going to grab a pistol and start shooting me. Uh, that, this is actually quite dangerous just walking along here. Sometimes these garages, uh, some of the garages open, some of them don't. Uh, just walking along the side of the road is really dangerous. Because you're never quite sure when a car is going to swerve off and hit something. This is a really difficult place to start. Uh, just realised how difficult this is. I've got to get to a safe place to get in a car. I can't feasible, uh, unless, unless I shoot out a driver and the car somehow comes to a nice safe hold. Getting one of these cars is really going to be difficult. Uh, of course, the second we start shooting, everybody gets freaked out. Maybe I would be better off trying to, rather than going round sort of the buildings. Oh, more explosions. Maybe I'd be better off just heading sort of down that. I say go down that way, and I just see the firefight going on. Can I spy a car? Uh, also, with this sort of blackout thing, flashlights are actually incredibly important on your weaponry, which is really cool. Like, this is. For close range stuff, this is so vital. For long range, though, you can blind yourself with it and not really see where you're shooting. Uh, which makes for a really uh, interesting compromise, which is what I, I guess a flashlight, a high powered flashlight like this, would, would do to, to weaponry. I'm thinking going down this hill may be a good idea. That, that going along that road that's so narrow, I think I'm, I'm likely to get splattered by a car. Like, we've, we've been going for like three minutes now and made little to, to very little progress. That's quite a steep bit of the hill. Over here is less steep, although two people have just got shot at, uh, at this particular point. Is there a car in a driveway? I really need a car in a driveway here. Um, got to turn that off for a minute to try and get some some range some range view. People, oh, they've not got a gun at the moment, so let's not shoot at them. I think perhaps now would be a good time to uh, run. Let's just run a little bit. Try and try and get at least no an objective. I can't still none of these garages. Oh, we're going we're going this way. Michael has determined and then got slightly confused by a hillside that we are going this way. Maybe we're gonna have to go the whole the whole the whole way on foot. Oh, jump 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 jump. There is a big old fight going on up here. Check the road. Oh, you've really got to think about crossing the road as well <laughs> with this. Uh, oh. 
I see that door there open. Open, open, open. Please be a car. Please be a car. Please be a car. Please be a car. Be a car. Anything? Piss. Uh, <laughs> I told you some of them did open. Unfortunately, there is nothing. This is actually, you know what? I'm going to ride out the apocalypse in a garage. I think this is a good, this is a nice, safe place. I don't know if they actually will come and get me in here. No. <laughs> I will just I will just sit in here and let it all blow up blow over. Uh, unfortunately there is well, I doubt any food. Uh, bugger. Uh, right. They don't come in the garages though, so these are safe little safe havens. In fact there's not actually anybody that close to me at this moment in time. Oh it's dark. Right, let's get into this person's uh, sort of back well, let's go back garden, but there's not really any garden to it. Sort of swimming pool area. Their house is kind of looking quite nice and safe at the moment. It is quite quiet in this particular area. Actually, it's quite a nice little secluded bit, apart from the dead body. Just ignore the dead body that nearly fell in the pool. Uh, it's not important. I'm really hoping that there is a way out here. Uh, indeed, there is, I think. Can we get the gun up and some light on the, on the, on the case? There's some guys up there. They're just running. So they haven't found guns yet. Ah, person down there. We're gonna have to shoot some, a couple of SWAT guys. Oh, are lying around. Oh, we're getting lots of getting shot at quite a lot up here. Okay, maybe we should again vacate this area. The garage was safer. The garage was definitely safer. Can I see anything parked at the moment? There's just nothing around at this precise moment that I'm that I'm looking for. Crap. Oh, there is some. Ah, uh, the SWAT guy. There's no. The SWAT guys have got nobody else to shoot at, so they're just going for me at this moment in time. Is that a safe drop I can do? I think if we go. Oh, can we not? We can't climb over there. Bugger. Okay, we may have to go out this side then. Hmm. I'm not liking this. There are too many people over here, really. Uh, right. We do action roll on landing. Oh crap! Explosions. Let's let's leave this area really quickly. Ah, I see. If I spy a car park at least. There's. Uh, just another dead body rolling down the thing. Oh, I saw the headlights too late. That's why you need to look when crossing the road. <laughs> Michael took no damage from that. Holy crap, I'm still getting shot at by explosives. Run, Michael. Run. We're into the city. Slightly face first into the city, but we're here. <laughs> we have made it out of the hills. It's only taken me seven minutes-ish to make it out of the hills, but that's fine. Uh, God, that it is incredibly... You've got a gun. Let's just, just spray in that general direction. I don't know quite where he went. He's in the bush. Where, where are you, dude? There you are. Make sure. <laughs> oh, crap. I need a car. I really, really need a car. Oh, bl <laughs> Voltic just got eaten by a jeep of some sort. Uh, okay, this bit here is not safe either. Run away. We're run away. The armor's taking most of the damage at the moment, but that's only going to last for a little bit longer. I was really hoping that there's going to be a car in one of these car parks. Something quick. A Voltic would be lovely. Sadly, the only Voltic I've seen just got murdered by a Jeep. Uh, have we got anything down here? No, we've got a SWAT guy. Aside from that, there is no cars in these car parks. God's sake. Uh, you will see the chaos the second I go near uh, go near the no, go near an intersection or something. It's just utter, utter carnage. Uh, there's muddle, muzzle flashes over there, but none of them are really shooting at me. I'm not even sure I'm going in the right way to go to the airport at this precise moment in time. I do know where there is a car park. At, uh, oh, explosions. Explosions are bad. Can't do much about them. My armor can eat a few bullets, but uh, explosions will... Oh, crap, I can't go around there either. There is a car park somewhere at this end of the city. We're going to have to climb up and have a look. Fire engine. Oh, a lot of explosions going on at this moment in time. Hmm. <laughs> Oh crap. Oh, it's the cars going up. It's not that a person is. Someone's exploded one car and now there's just a chain of them. That was the car park I was aiming for. That's all on fire. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. Voltix and. Oh, there's a Huntley. The Huntley looks quite promising. Oh, someone has seen me. Someone is paying attention. Let's see that. Ah, there we go. That might be more. A bit more helpful for, for the long range stuff. Uh, Anybody over there looking at me? No. I might have to try and clear out the car park and then get ready to run. The Huntley... Ah, oh, the Huntley's gone up. Okay, I see a Grey Voltic over there. Grey Voltic, I think, is what we're going to want to go for. We're going to have to go for it and uh, climb down onto this awning and then we're going to go for a bit of a run. Now, this is really ridiculously uh, silly, going for this run. Across here, a couple of bullets. Ooh. Uh, no, I'm just going for the first thing that I can see. There's too many people around me. And, oh, the weather's not frozen itself properly. That's disappointing. Uh, so that the, way that this, uh, the way that this mod works, uh, you have to freeze... I'm just checking what is the actual 
time. No, the time is frozen properly. The weather, the, this, this, the, the 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 blackout thing is a um, oh crap is <laughs> is fixed to the uh, the stormy weather. There we go. So you have to use a trailer to freeze the weather. I don't know why that unfroze itself. Um, anyway, I have a bullet with no rear tire. A fair bit of front. I've got no headlights now. I just <laughs> it's just guess where stuff is. Oh. Good God, I saw explosions. I see there's more explosions. It's just panic, panic, run away down here. This is where we're going to, <laughs> to head. <laughs> a tornado just mullered someone. Whoa, look at the Landstalkers go. It was just instant into some explosions here. Follow the cars. Oh, no, follow the cars that way. Holy crap. <laughs> it's all got a bit crazy. My vehicle is still currently functioning. It may not be functioning anymore. That's a truck to the face. We're stuck in the intersection. <laughs> we got punted clear of the intersection. The bullet's gone. The bullet's absolutely knackered. We made some good progress, though. Look at the fire. The, the fire does look so cool uh, on here. Thank you, curb and lamppost that just saved me from a G-Wagon. Well, just about saved me from a G-Wagon. Holy Crap, are you a guy? Uh, it's really hard to know who are just normal people and who are the rioters. Uh, good God. It was like a 30 second drive and it's just pandemonium out here. The, the <laughs> That's dead. The buffalo's dead. There's somebody shooting over there. I can just see the muscle, muzzle flash. Sorry. More people shooting. Uh, yeah, this is quite a dark video. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you may want to, uh, if you're on like a lot lower, uh, oh no, you're just a normal person I think, oh bloody hell, hello dude. Uh, if you're not run, watching this on high definition it may just be a blur of black pixels. But uh, if you can see it, it is absolutely, why have we done that again? I keep telling you to freeze the damn weather, why have we unfrozen the weather? It's still quite chaotic, it's just not quite as chaotic as the, freeze that, turn that off, stormy, freeze it on. Now stay! It was having, again, always the way. No problems when I'm not filming. The second I start filming, it's decided to uh, play up. Right, we need to somehow make our way <laughs> to the airfield. We have made so little progress in the grand scheme of things. I, I need to cross this road, but I'm really scared of doing so because I'm possibly going to get run over. There we go. We're, we're through. We're free. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, we're out the other side. That car there is missing a tire. There is a car park around here somewhere. Ooh, I see a bike, but I can't decide if that's really dangerous. Uh, a bike could work, but if we get caught up in one of the big accidents in an intersection, I will be throwing clear of the bike, and then we will be in lots and lots and lots of trouble. Uh, so maybe a bike isn't a good idea. There was a car park, I thought, around here somewhere with vehicles accessible. I, I, I hear people screaming and running around, but uh, quite where any combatants are, I don't know. Got rid of him, right. Uh, where is the car? I think the car's just down here. You you have a gun. Let's get rid of them quickly. Yep, they're down. Uh, I think this is a car park, but it's a very exposed one. Uh, are there any vehicles here, though? That is another matter. I did see, yes, I see a bullet. Oh, rocket just pinged across the screen. Not pinged, just a rocketed across the screen. There we go. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that will do uh, for... <laughs> For the for the English there. Oh, okay. There is lots of lots of rocket fire going on. I'm thinking we're going to get in this bullet and try and get away. Oh, we may have to put him down first before getting in the bullet. I'm really hoping that this is a car that was driving, so I don't have to do the whole hot wiring. No, I have to do the whole hot wiring thing. Uh, right, we have a uh, shot a SWAT guy in the leg. Bullet is a go again with. Uh, it's working. We have a fully functioning bullet. Bloody... Oh, no, we don't. I lied. We've lost two tyres. I thought it was a little bit slidey straight off. Uh, that's why, because it's missing a couple of tyres. So many people. I just see explosions going on here. We're going to duck to this side, try and avoid them. Uh, <laughs> this is scary. Oh, the, 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 the mule has got itself stuck on the roof. I just see a person go flying across the screen. <laughs> uh, we are wedged, I think. Oh, no, we've got the car free. But we are got no steering. Well, we've got all of the steering to the right. Just to the left is an issue. Again, we've made up. So we've made just such little ground in our quest to get to the bloody airfield. <laughs> oh, is there? I've got. I've lost the steering. I'm just relying on other cars to turn me at the moment. There's just a flaming wreck come rolling along. Uh, we've got to abandon another car. I don't even. We, we've, we've had. I think we've only had two cars so far. Both of them have made it about 50 meters. 
and then and then being broken. Yeah, funnily enough, I'm not too bothered about accessing the ATM at this moment in time. Right, whereabouts are we? Ooh, I see a big multi-story. Multi-stories are a lovely safe place to go in the apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> that's where we're going to head to. Holy crap, like, I have no idea. I'm just so lost as to where on earth I am in the city, just overall. Uh, I think I'm kind of near where my online apartment is. Oh, more bullets. All of the bullets in here. Fantastic, we can actually get one that's in good condition. I just want to make sure there is nobody around. Uh, yeah, there is someone over here. Oh, ow. I took a bullet to the side. I have no idea where it came from. Uh, apparently I killed someone. Right. We will get this red bullet over here. It's, <laughs> wow, it's like, have we, have we found the bullet factory? I think we may have done. Uh, <laughs> just these cars. Right. Let us... Oh, there's another person incoming. Uh, they're just running away. That's fine. Lightning strikes are so useful for actually seeing something. Right, as I'm so utterly bloody turned around, I'm going to uh, cheat a little tiny bit and actually put myself a waypoint so I kind of know where I'm bloody going. Right, how long this car is going to last? We have got a absolutely brand new car. Oh, I know where we are. This is a really big bloody car park. Oh, <laughs> could have had a mighty wing on the Jester there. Um... We have a mile, one point, ah, there's not an exit over there. Uh, we've got 1.6 miles to, or depending on quite which one it uh, wants us to do, 1.2 miles when we leave out of here to try and do in a bullet. It should not be. Didn't it want us to go that way? Holy crap! This way bad, that way bad, that way bad. We're going here. <laughs> oh, there's a car on its side. Some more shots are going off. Uh, it wants us to head over here. Now, we've got to fight our way. There's a mule. I can't turn that direction. A mule was coming at my face. We've had to slightly take a detour. Uh, yeah, it's all very well and good knowing where to go. It's just... Oh, flaming cars. Um, flaming cars. Oh, we got utterly mullered by a G-Wagon. But I'm hoping that was just on the door. That wasn't actually on a wheel. So I think we're still good. We've still got headlights as well. I can still see where we're going. Petrol station is a very bad place to be heading anywhere near. Uh, Run them over. No, nope, not quite got them either. Uh, no, car. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we've lost headlights. We've lost drive. Bullet has lasted less than a, it's lasted less than a mile. Get out of it. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> we are in a really bad place. We're in the middle of the road. Car's on fire. Uh, explosions up ahead. Got to get rid of that guy. I need to get into a safe place. Oh. <laughs> we may have died in a little bit. Bloody hell. That is so... Uh, <laughs> I couldn't get from Franklin's house to the bloody... Uh, <laughs> to the what's it called. Right. Now, to set this up, because we've died, I will try again. I will carry on. We have got to ever so slightly uh, change the time. Hour back it is the, between the hours of... Oh, no, wait. Hour forward, maybe. I've got to try and remember the bloody... It's between the hours of 12 and 3 that... Uh, that if we have stormy weather, we have the blackout thing going on. Uh, we've just got to start. I'm just sort of trying to dodge the bullets while uh, freeze weather on stormy. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little fiddly, but uh, it's, it's so bloody worth it. Right. We are. I hope we've made now backwards progress. Yeah, because we're all the way back up here. God damn it. Getting to the airport is so difficult. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you, driver of the uh, Massacre there, or whatever it's called. You can just try and try and kill me. There's a comet without a wheel. It's just trying to drive. Uh, please go away, SWAT guys. Ah, I spy Los Santos Customs. Now, I'm pretty sure... Are we going to... We're just going to go for a sprint here. Sprint, just run and pray we don't get ran over. This is my only, uh, only hope. Keep running, keep running, keep running. There we go. The, uh, the Los Santos Customs sometimes have cars in the uh, car park. Buy it. Oh, dear God. The car's just spinning wildly out of control. We're, we've made it to the custom shop, at least. There is some SWAT guys and some other people uh, down here. Oh, crap. They have a minigun. No, 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 no. Can't let you live. Have I gone the wrong side for the custom shop? I think I have. Oh, there. I see a car. I think I see a comet down there. Uh, it is indeed a modified comet. That's going to be... A, uh, again... It's going to last us about 20 meters, and then we'll get killed by something. At the, at the moment, by the sounds of it, explosions going on everywhere. Uh, I'm not going back. I'm not going the way that that thing is saying me. There are too many explosions behind me that sounded dangerous. Right, so now we have a highly modified comet, 
but it doesn't really steer. It may already be slightly broken. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. I don't know why we've lost steering. The car just does not turn to the left. Oh, holy crap. Comet's on fire already. Get out, Michael. Get out. It's last. The car has lasted us nowhere. We've lost most of our health. Flying cars. Just flaming cars. Not even flying cars. Flaming cars are being thrown at us. <laughs> Comet is gone. It just didn't last. Look at that. It's just engulfed in flames. We're going to have to go for the Emperor. This is perhaps the most difficult thing I've ever tried to do on GTA 5. Go from Franklin's house to the airport in the pitch black with utter, utter chaos uh, around us. If the Emperor can do it and all the supercars can't, I will be very disappointed for supercar kind. Look at what, I don't even know what that is. That's how damaged it is. There's the... Uh, there's, a, there's a, a jester there. That'd be quite nice. That is very, very quick. Oh, I saw that RPG fly across the uh, fly across the, the, the screen, if you like. Oh, crap. He has a rocket. He's just fired it directly behind him. Oh, Jeep spun out. Keep going, Emperor. You can make it. You can... Oh, crap. Bus. Bus. Grenades and bus. Keep going. Just use speed. Oh, no. Speed's not going to work. We're going to hit the side of a baller, and now we're, in the, now we're stuck in the intersection. I've got to go this way. Not fighting, turning around. We have oh, another petrol station. Please, nobody have explosives. Please, nobody have explosives. Uh, we're fine. We have lost. Oh, we lost all steering again. The Emperor didn't actually make it a decent way. I'll give it credit. The Emperor got quite a long way towards the airport. But, uh, oh, there's another flying car bouncing across. I think it was the... Oh, I spy a car park. I spy a car park with some, st some, some vehicles that are going to have to do because I have no steering anymore. Right, Sentinel, you're going to have to do... Headlights are very useful. Steering is very useful to try and avoid the carnage at the intersection. It, look at... <laughs> just a baller goes flying through shot. Fortunately, they've left the nice gap in the middle. They're kind of all congregated on the outsides of that, uh, that cross, cross junction. Uh, we are getting close to the airport, though. We are getting really close to the airport. Thank God for that. Please don't come out of that junction, Emperor. Uh, we're having to... I am perhaps... And this is a rare thing to say, the safest driver in the entirety of this city. Uh, as a motorbike crashes into something, there are more explosions going on ahead of me. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. The weather has completely forgotten what it was supposed to be doing yet again. I've, I've told it so many times to, uh, to stay frozen. I don't know, it was working fine before. It's now, it's, it's just, it, it, it's, it's unhappy with me. We will try and get it back. Uh... Stormy, freeze. Sometimes you have to reset it, and then it'll then it'll work. Uh, we got a, a very helpful assistance actually, getting us across the uh, the bodies there. That push. We've got very little steering. A wheel is dragging, but we are going to. Uh, hopefully, there's just so many people at this particular part. We've lost the steering. Taxi's going for around the outside overtake. Oh, we've got into the. <laughs> That's stuck. That's not going out of there anytime soon. We are right here, though. Uh, I can't remember. We may actually need a car to get over the barrier. I can't remember if they're going to open for me if I'm on foot. It is incredibly dark down here as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really like I really like the combination of mods that are, that are going on here. Unfortunately, the uh, the weather is not quite staying as frozen as I was uh, as I was hoping it would. But aside from that. This is absolutely, uh, absolutely incredible. The darkness, it just adds another... It just changes the feel of the whole game, which is really impressive. Uh, right, can we jump over this? Yes, we can. I believe we are now into the airport. Is there a way around this fence? Yes, there is, because the SWAT guy took it. Uh, just spray bullets in that direction. Holy crap, I am hurting now. Do not die at this point. Do not die here. Uh, I think we may. I'm going to grab a car. My thinking here is, if I can leave this area, grab a car, go to the hangars on the other side of the area, get one of the planes over there, and then we will make our escape. Because that hangar there, we've likely to got people all hanging around in it. In fact, look at the look at the firefight. In fact, there isn't even planes in the hangars. Why are there not planes in the hangars? Maybe they've already been blown up. Uh, yes, let us get a jumbo jet. A jumbo jet shall get us to, to freedom. I'm not sure that that's particularly a safe idea, is it? Uh, just, everybody is fighting on the... Uh, <laughs> I really want this to work. Please let me get a jumbo jet to safety. Please work. 
I go to get so exploded by someone. Just see it, there's already an RPG being fired off there. I'm not at all in the jumbo jet. It's absolutely okay. Yeah, fire the RPGs that way. Quickly, quickly go plane. Go plane. <laughs> we are not turning enough at all. Go, go. I can't see where the stuff is to avoid it. There's a big pole thing. We're not going to make the turn. <laughs> oh, we got in a plane. We exploded it on the runway. Uh, it's such a fantastic combination of mods. Uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, we may have messed up the turn. This is a customary thing for uh, for doing this. Ah, the power's back on. Everybody's still writing. Oh, I picked up a minigun at some point. Uh, <laughs> such a good combination. As I said, I'll put all of the, the links to these in the description so you can download them, try them yourself, see if you do better than me at uh, at, at um, well surviving the uh, the pure pure and utter chaos. It's just constant explosions going on somewhere. But, uh, yeah, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And until next time, a goodbye.